together It may be the last time I don't know It may be the last time We talk together It may be the last time I don't know Say this may like a vapor yes. that appears a little while then vanish away. Yes. Yeah. Psalm said, man, life is like a bird caught in the snare as well mm -hmm. as a fish caught into a net. Oh. We don't know. This may be our last time. Amen. Uh, you ought to be rejoicing in the Lord this morning. Yes. Rejoice because the Lord let you get up this morning. Amen. The alarm clock didn't wake you up. Amen. God woke you up this morning. And you ought to be rejoicing because you are in the house of the Lord, the church of the living God. Amen. 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 I was glad when they say, let us go into the house of the Lord. We ought to be sad people this morning. We ought to be happy people, right? Amen. Even in the midst of our sorrow, what we are going through, we ought to be happy because God allowed us to see a day when I promised to us. Amen. All he promised us that we do what he say is eternal life. Yes. And looking forward to that day one day, which is heaven. I told my wife the other day, I'm not worried about titles, I'm not worried about being prayed. I just want to go to heaven when I die. Amen. I just want to go to heaven when I die. I want to go be with the Lord when I die. I'm not looking for no praise, no fame. I just want to go and be with the Lord when I die. I want to go to heaven when I die. And that, that's my only goal. When I lay down and leave this whole life, I want to go be with my God who lives in heaven. Amen. Let me sing a verse of song. And, and uh, I had a song in a long time, so y'all bear with me. We'll sing Trouble in My Way. Oh, and, and, and the lesson, we'll get into the lesson. <laughs> Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Chapter 14, as we look at the Word of God together, 
and Matthew chapter 14. Matthew 1 is a tax collector who Jesus chose who was at the tax booth said, follow me. Mm -hmm. He left everything and followed Jesus. Amen. We also learn Matthew also deal with the genealogy of Jesus Christ from Abraham unto the coming of Jesus. He deal with the birth of Jesus Christ as well. He deal with John the Baptist in chapter 3 and John baptizing Jesus in the river Jordan. He deal with the temptation of Jesus Christ as well. Also, he talk about also uh, the Beatitude in Matthew chapter 5 as well. He talked about we've been the light of the world. And chapter 6, the Lord deal with uh, blowing the trumpet, sign and sign the trumpet, or may be seen of man as well. Mm -hmm. Talk about the multitude as well. Chapter 8, deal with the man of the leprosy as well. Who, uh, it came to Jesus to be cleansed from the leprosy mm -hmm. as well. Chapter 9, he sent uh, the 70 out into the limited commission as well. Chapter 10, he chose the 12 apostles as well. And chapter 11, he also talked about he that is great, he that is in the kingdom is greater than John and the Baptist as well. So being the church, you are greater than John as well. And chapter 13, he deal with the parable of the sword, the parable of the net, the parable of the dragnet, the parable of the born pearl. He deal with many things also, and he talked about the parable of the sword and the terror as well. Then in chapter 14, he deal with John the Baptist's head getting cut off. John's a no-head man. <laughs> he put his head in a charger. Yeah. But John got in trouble because he spoke the truth. Amen. And when you speak the truth, sometimes you get in trouble. Amen. That's why we sung the song, the Bible said, trouble in my way. The song we sang, trouble in my way, I have to cry sometimes. Amen. John was not the head because he done anything wrong, but he told Herod, it was not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So we learn through studying God's word as well that, that John also, and then Jesus feeds the 5,000 in this chapter as well. And we learn from the word of God. But we look at Matthew chapter 14 and verse 22 through verse number 32 as we look at God's word together. And the scripture says, straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship to go before him unto the other side mm -hmm. while he sent the multitude away. Mm -hmm. When he had sent the multitude away, went up into a mountain apart to pray. When the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, mm -hmm. tossed with the wave, for the wind was contrary. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, mm -hmm. saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Mm -hmm. But straight away, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. It is I. Be not afraid. Mm -hmm. Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thy bid me to come unto thee on the water. He said, come. When Peter was coming down out of the walk, the ship, he walked on water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the bursting of the strong wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, said, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus spread forth his hand, caught him, Said to him, O oh, thy little faith, mm -hmm. wherefore did thy doubt? Mm -hmm. When they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Mm -hmm. And they that were in the ship come and worship him, saying, Of oh, a true, thou art the Son mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. I pray and hope that you have the copy of God's word this morning as we look at the word of God together. As we look at the subject this morning, stand focused in the midst of the storm. Stand focused in the midst of the storm. We want to look at that this morning because it's important that we understand that being children of God, in the midst of the storm, we must stay focused as well. When we look at our lesson for this morning, uh, we find uh, that Jesus here had fed uh, some people and fed them and they departed to the other side and Jesus went away alone to pray. Mm -hmm. Sometimes as Christians.
preaching, we need to just steal away sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Steal away and pray. The Lord always will get away from the crowd, get away from his disciples, and you just go away and pray. And he prayed. He talked to his heavenly father. We need to be in the condition in the way that we've been taught to God and pray to him in the time of trouble. But the Lord went into the trouble. He had a communication with his father and he would pray to his father as well. And he's our father too as well. And we need to be praying more and more and more. Not just for the dinner table. Not just for the eating table. We need to pray more and get away and talk to the God that we love just like Jesus did. Because the Bible said Jesus is our perfect example that we should follow. He loved an example, a carpet that we should follow and then his church. But we need to pray always. Nothing wrong with praying, going down the highway, talking to the God Amen. you love Amen. as well. Nothing wrong with praying to God. You want to pray to be heard, because the Lord said you can go to the closet and yes. shut everything up out. Yes. And talk to the Lord as yes. well. Yes. So Jesus get away. And Jesus began to, he go and pray. And the Bible said, but the ship, mm -hmm. the ship was not in the midst of the sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tossed with waves. Mm -hmm. The wind was contrary. Yes. The ship. Mm -hmm. You know, the church is the old ship mm -hmm. of Zion. Amen. Yes. Uh, we sang that song and we are selling to heaven. Mm -hmm. We're on the ship, mm -hmm. but in order to be saved, we got to stay on the ship, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we can't lead the ship mm -hmm. if we want to be saved. Man. No matter if we got some uh, backbiters in the church or uh, some light in the church, we still Amen. got to what? Stay on the ship, right? Amen. Because when the Lord comes back, he comes back and goes in the ship. When I refer to the ship, I'm about the church. If I'm not in the church, I can't be saved. Now, there might be some bad folks in the church, but I've still got to stay in the church where salvation is. Because there's no salvation outside of the church of the body of Christ as well. And so they were on the ship, and, they, and as, as they were on the ship, and when the disciples saw him, Jesus, they saw Jesus. John has just been beheaded. Jesus going well, now, he's going to build his church in chapter 16. Chapter 15, Jesus talking about the doctrine commandments of man as well. But as they walked on the sea, there was trouble. They saw something. They saw something. They thought it was a spirit. They cried out in fear. Nothing wrong with crying sometimes to the Lord, church. Lord, if we can't talk to nobody, then we ought to be able to talk to God, right? Yes, we ought to be able to talk to God in the midst of trouble, right? And draw to a man born of a woman's a few days and full of trouble. Yes, Straight away, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to rejoice yeah. in the Lord. Amen. We ought to be a good church. We've been saved from our sin. Yes, We've been saved from the wrath of God. Amen. We are in Christ. We are, we are saved. We are saved from God's wrath. Because one day God is coming back and we don't want the wrath of God. Listen to the word of God. Paul said to the testimony, those who are in trouble, rest with us. Those who are troubled, those who are going through some things, he said, rest with us when the Lord shall reveal from heaven. Inflame the fire. He will take vigil on them that know not God, obey not the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What Paul is simply saying, Paul said, you know who are trouble, just rest with us. Amen. Yes. Because when God comes and makes with his wrath, mm -hmm. and we don't want the wrath of God, so we got to be cheerful people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes church folks are sometimes the saddest folk. Lord, yeah. We ought to be the happy folk in the midst yeah, right. of what we are going through. Right. We ought to be the cheerful folks on the job, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We should come with sad faces. We ought to be happy because God has blessed us yes, to be where we're at today as well. Yes, Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it's thy, if it's thy, be it me, 
coming to thee mm -hmm. on the water. Mm -hmm. Jesus is walking on water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about staying focused in the midst of the storm. Well. Peter come to Jesus said, Lord, if it's thou, bid me to come uh -huh. on the water. Right. This we see a miracle. Yeah. Jesus walking on water. Oh, yeah. A miracle. Yeah. The apostle, if he began to walk on water, yes, he began to walk on water. Yeah. Oh, yes, he walked on water. Yeah. Uh, these these dying, these scary around trying they can do miracles, but can't none walk on the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, can't none walk on the Pacific Ocean. Can't none walk on the lake and not sink. But Jesus walked on water. Amen. And the Apostle Peter walked on water as well also. We find that when you look at the Word of God, <laughs> staying focused in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. Peter asked the Lord, if it thou feed me to come. Yes. Watch Peter walking on water. Mm -hmm. He walks on water. Mm -hmm. But verse 39 says, but when he saw the bursting of the strong wind, yes. he was afraid. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is said that Satan instigated this storm. It is said that Satan caused this storm to rise to trouble the apostles. And we will understand that Satan is instigated as well. Satan is saying, don't want to see you saved. He don't want to see you going to heaven. Satan is an accuser of every day. He talks about you before the Father. Satan don't want you to go to hell. He's the instigator. And it says Satan is the one who called this storm to rise, to deal with the apostle's faith as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to stay focused, church, yes. in the midst of the storm. Yes. Uh, when Peter began to walk on the water, mm -hmm. he began to come to Jesus. Jesus uh, bid him to come, but when he saw something, mm -hmm. well, he is now. oftentimes in life, when we See things happen in our life. Come on, come on. We take our eyes off of Jesus. I know the Bible don't say Jesus, but, but he was looking at the man at first, and we were looking at the man Jesus Christ, and he saw something. He saw the person in the strong wind, and the Bible said he began to say. He had to be looking forward first. <laughs> but when he saw the wind, yeah. the strong wind, yeah. he began to sing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even in the midst of the storm. Yeah. We got to stay, keep our mind on Jesus. Yeah. Even in the midst of sickness, yes, yeah. we got to keep our mind on Jesus. Yeah. Uh, when we can stay focused on the right man. We won't sink for you, but thank God for Jesus Christ. Right. Because even when we sink yeah. and we cry out to Him, thank He's you, still Lord. there to lift us up and let us fall all of the way. Thank God for Jesus, right? Yeah. Even in the midst of hard times, in the midst of trials and tribulation, yeah. we got to stay focused. Yeah. I know many are going through sickness, yeah. many are going through trial and tribulation. Yeah. Men are going through hard times, but when the wind blow in your life, yeah. when the storm yeah. come in your yeah. life, you got yeah. to stay focused on Jesus. Amen. 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 Because it's coming. Amen. See, Satan is the instigator. Mm -hmm. Sickness come. I got to keep looking to Jesus. Yeah. My family treated me bad because I'm trying to do what's right. I got to keep looking to Jesus. Amen. So when I take my eyes of Jesus. I'm going to say it, right? Uh, but Jesus is always there. He said, I never leave when you're getting the saint. He died when you cry to him 
in prayer. He died to reach out and pick you up again. Thank God for Jesus Christ. He died to lift you up when you cry to him. And when you're sinking, you say, Lord, save me, Lord. Save me through my trouble. Save me through my hard times. Save me through my sickness. Help me, Lord. And the Lord is there to pick you up. When you're sinking, you got to keep the eyes on Jesus. Because where our strength comes from. Amen. That's why Paul said, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Yeah. Paul said, I can do all things right. through Christ Jesus, yeah. who what? Strengthen me, right? Yeah. We got to stay focused, church, because some trouble time going to come in our life. Yeah. You might be doing good now, yeah. but one day the wind going to blow in your life, yeah. and you got to stay focused on Jesus Christ, our Savior, right? Yeah. If we stay focused on Him, we ain't going to sink. But even if we sink, Jesus said, you cried to me, I'm there to lift you up. Yeah. In the midst of what we go through in life, yeah. there's somebody who loves us. Yeah. When the storm blows, in our life, yes. we must build up on a solid rock. Yes. Every day is not going to be an easy day. Amen. Some days going to be rough. Yes. But one thing I like what Jesus said, uh -huh. I can go into the closet. Yes. When I say go into the closet, I'm not talking about what they say on TV. Yep. Uh -huh. They talking about going to a closet, yes. close the closet. Yes. But when the Lord said go into the closet, he means shut everything else off. And just you and him go into the closet together. Talk to the Lord about your situation. Because the time is going to come uh, when you're going to need the Lord. And when you cry out to him, he's there to lift you up. Amen. He is there to lift you up. We got to stay focused. We got to keep looking to Jesus. Look what the Hebrew writer said, Hebrew chapter 12. And verse. Chapter 12, verse number 1 through 4. Look what every writer says now. When you talk about looking to Jesus, watch the word of God. Wherefore, Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about, compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. So great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which does The so sin that we even say. Read. Let us run with patience. Now we run the race, church. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we're in this world, we live in. We live in a troubled world. Yes. You know, I told you Satan is an instigator. Mm -hmm. Satan came to steal. Satan came to destroy. Yes. Satan is a liar as well. Yes. Satan don't love none of the earth tonight today no. because he is an instigator. Yes. He is a accuser of you for God every day. Yes. Read your Bible. Yes. Read your chapter 12. Read that sometime. Uh -huh. Satan. Will cause trouble to come yes. in your life. Yes. Yeah. When Satan calls trouble to come into your life, mm -hmm. listen to Job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Satan can't stand to see you do good. Yeah. Satan don't want to see you do right. Yeah. Listen to old man Job. Stay where you at, brother Mark. Listen to old man Job. Job said, the Bible said, Job was a perfect. Upright man, a man that true evil. Yes. There was a castle in heaven. Mm -hmm. Here comes Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan talked with God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, will Job serve you for nothing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Job would say, oh, you got a hedge around him. Mm -hmm. yes. You take the head away from him. And look who the best of Job like. Yeah. It wasn't God, it was Satan. Yes. Right. It was Satan who they said, uh, called this uproar, this storm to come, yeah. the trouble of the disciple Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was Satan of the instigator yeah. who was troubling the disciples, and Job was Satan who called Job to have sword from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. It was Satan who called Job to have nightmares and dreams. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was yeah. Satan who called Job to lose his kids and everything, yeah. to prove to God that Job only served you for what you gave him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was Satan. Yeah. He can't give him the first time, he came back the second time. Mm -hmm. It was Satan. Mm -hmm. We got to keep looking to Jesus. We got to stay focused even in the midst of the storm. Yes. 
storm. Yes. In the midst of Job's storm, I like what Job said. Job said, though he slay me, yes. yet will I trust in him. Yes. Job actually thought God was slaying him. God just allowed Satan to do it. Just don't take his life. Amen. And God allowed Satan to do a lot of things today as well. But God is still in control. Yes, Amen. he is. Yes, Thank you. Yes, he is. And what you are going through in the storm of your life, you just say, focus, keep your mind on Jesus. Yes, Amen. Job said, though my redeemer live, even though I'm going through some trials and trouble, even though I don't see myself have done anything wrong, I, I, I helped the poor people, I brought strength into my home, I, I fed them, I gave, I look at money being my God, Job said, but he said, yet I'm troubled every side. Yes. But Job said focus. Yes, mm -hmm. One time Job got so discouraged, he said, curse be the devil born. He said, I wish I never came into the world. Sometimes you get that way sometimes. But in the midst of going through all the trouble of life, and what you are going through, mm. you got to stay focused. Yes. You got to stay looking to Jesus. Yes. Don't quit following the Lord because the storms are coming in your life. Mm. Uh -huh. It should straighten your faith. Yes. It should make you strong. Yes. It should make you look more to Jesus right. in the midst of the storm that comes in your life. Because the storm is certainly coming. And when you build on Jesus Christ, when you build on the Lord, and on his saying, when the storm do come, you're going to stand. So in the midst of the storm, we have to look to Jesus. Yeah. Look to him, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Wait, Brother Mark. And let us run with patience. Let us run with patience. Read. That is set before. That is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Now, now what we have to do, we, when we run in the race, yes. in the midst of the storm of life, yes, sir. When Peter took his eyes off of Jesus, mm. when he saw the strong wind, mm. yes. he began to sink. Yes. Mm. What I want you to see this morning is that no matter what you are going through, they yes. focus on Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You know there's a lot of sickness in life. Yeah. Yes. 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 We live in a troubled world, yes. hard time, yes. untrustworthy government, yes. but our faith should be in them in the first place. Amen. Our faith should be in God. Amen. See, Christian folk don't put their faith in man. Mm -hmm. Christian folk put their faith in God. Yeah. Our faith is in God. And we know that the God we serve, as Shadrach like Meshach said, no matter what you put me in the fire front, I know he's able to deliver me. Yes, yes he will. Yes. Say that. So we put our trust in God. Amen. Peter called this world evil. Mm -hmm. Paul Amen. said. Peter's called it a crooked and perverted nation. We live in an evil world, church. Amen. Amen. And when the time of storm come in our life, mm -hmm. we got to stay focused on Jesus. Amen. Amen. We got to stay focused. Yes. And I know some saying that he don't say he took his eyes off. Mm -hmm. I've been through all that discussion before. <laughs> <laughs> But he had to, as the scholars say, he had to be looking at him to yes. to look at this portion of the wind. <laughs> so he was coming to Jesus. Uh -huh. See, the Bible tells everything. Amen. When you become a Christian and you're growing in faith, What's you're growing in maturity, you may discern some things as well. Yes. Yes. The Bible don't tell you everything is a sin. Yes. But the Bible tells you that, that when you come to maturity, you have to discern between good and evil. There's something yeah. as a Christian you have able to discern and look at and say it's not the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When you're grown. Yes, now when you're still carnal minded and word minded, yes. uh, you can't see the right thing to do. Yes. But when you are born spiritually, yes. and the Bible has to say, do not do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Amen. There's something in discernment. Yes. When you grow to maturity, yes. you're able to discern. Well, not the best thing to do. Amen. As Paul said, all things are helpful. Mm -hmm. All things are not helpful. All things are expedient, but all things are not helpful. Mm -hmm. 
Show me verse you're reading out of it. Right, yeah. All things are profitable, but all things are not expedient. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand, as Christians are something we are able to discern. That's why Paul said when you grow to maturity, mm -hmm. you have to discern between good and evil. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So you don't say always don't don't say that don't do that. Amen. Something you may judge me yeah. as a Christian, as a child of God. Amen. So when 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 Peter saw the motion of the wind, he began to sing. Amen. Let's stay focused in the midst of the storm. Amen. And when Jesus came into the ship, Amen. when Jesus came into mm -hmm. the ship, the wind ceased. Mm -hmm. and there was peace. Mm -hmm. I want to say to you this morning, you want peace in your life. Mm -hmm. Let Jesus come into your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you want the type of peace in the midst of a troubled world, mm -hmm. we don't know a lot, they're going to shut the government down again. Now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we know that the God we serve is able, right? Yes. We know that the God we serve will supply yes. all our needs. Yes, we have to trust him, right? Yes, we don't put our trust in man. We don't worry about man. We pray to the God of heaven, knowing that whatever we are going through, whatever we're going in this world, we serve a God is able to live our every situation we face. Yes. Amen. But learn how to trust him, though. Mm -hmm. See, as the Bible says in Psalm 18, we don't trust in man. No. Psalm 118, I mean. But we trust in God. Amen. Then Proverbs 3 said, trust God all your heart and lead what? Now you all understand all your way acknowledge him and he will what? Direct your path. Trust God. In the midst of the storm, when Jesus came into the ship, him and Peter, there were peace. If you want to find peace, mm -hmm. find Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can lay there at night. Mm -hmm. This verse, they teach the kids to pray <laughs> in preschool. You lay me that, Lord, lay me down, they pray, Lord, my soul the key. I can lay down at night yeah. knowing that the Lord going to keep my soul. Yes. I can lay down at night and Solomon said, my sleep is sweet. Yes, yes. yes. When the rich man is trouble, yes. but he's trying to worry about how to keep his money. Amen. But the poor man can lay down at night. Yes. His sleep can be sweet. Yes. Knowing that he knows Jesus. Yes. That the Lord called him. Thank you, Lord. He's going to be with the Lord yes. as well. Yes. I don't worry about the storms of life. I look to the man. And I'm saying to you this morning, as a child of God, you need to learn when the storms come in life, stay focused. When the hard time comes, stay focused. Don't, don't say. When the hard time comes, when sickness comes in your life, stay focused. When death comes in your family, stay focused. You need to come to Jesus. Yeah. And if you sink mm. being a child of God, mm. the master of the universe, mm. one tag to the wind, peace, That's the be still. Yes. The master of the universe took man made him out of the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostril. He became a living soul. Yeah. The man that took the blind and took spill into his eyes yes. and he became sin yes. and told him to wash in the pool of Salaam. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is the one. Yes. The man that told the leper that thou art made clean as well. Yes. The man that took your sin to Calvary and bore your sins on the cross. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that you have to stay focused and look to every day in the midst of the hard times yes. yes. and the troubles of life. Mm -hmm. You can find peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things happen sometimes in our life as Christians to help our, our faith get stronger. Mm -hmm. See, when the Lord said, why do you fear, O oh, ye little faith? Yeah. Now notice, he didn't tell Peter to have no faith. Yeah. He said, you have little, little faith. Right. But this happened to the scripture the disciples' faith as well. Mm -hmm. To make their faith stronger. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes things have to happen in our life as Christians. Yeah. When we are doing well, we forget about God. Yeah. But God has to bring some, sometimes some sickness and things in our life, some storms in our life to help us to stay focused, to help us to stay strong, always dependent on Him. Yeah. And when, oh, ye little faith, we need a strong faith. A strong faith, a great faith. Like the centurion. Mm -hmm. A strong faith like Abraham. Yes, Lord. The Lord didn't condemn Peter. He had said to Peter, mm -hmm. Oh, you little faith. Mm -hmm. What is faith? Mm -hmm. Faith is the substance mm -hmm. of things hoped for, it is the thing that are not seen. Mm -hmm. Second chapter 5, verse 7 said, we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, With our faith, the apostle believes God. He that come to God must believe, they yield. As I start my Christian walk, I must walk by faith. Yes. I must stay focused on Jesus. Amen. If I stay focused on Jesus, even if I say, mm. let's cry to him. Mm. He will lift you up. I will yes, lift you up. Yeah. He's not going to yes, let you sink all the way. See, that's what I love about the Lord. See, the devil let you fall all the way down to the ground. <laughs> but see, when we cry to God, he always will be there yeah. to lift us up. Yeah. When you feel like you're sinking, you. just cry to the Lord. Yes. Yes. Peter said, Lord, save me. Yes. That's the prayer, ain't it? Yes. Sometimes we think prayer got to be an hour before what we pray. Prayer got to be 30 minutes before we even pray. Amen. But Peter said about two words, then the Lord, save me. Yes. yes. And the Lord lift his hand out to him. Lift him up. Came into the boat with him. Peace, be still. The one can calm the sea. Is the one we need to stay focused on. I'm saying to you this morning, you need to come to Jesus who is the author and finish of our faith. How do I come? Romans 10, 17 tell us that faith come by hearing. Mm -hmm. And hearing by the word of God. Yes. That's how faith comes. Mm -hmm. yes. I must hear God's word. Then I must believe that Jesus died. He was buried. Mm -hmm. That he rose again on the third day. Mm -hmm. That's the facts of the gospel. Mm -hmm. I must believe that. I must repent. Luke 13, 3. Jesus said, I'll tell you nay, except you repent, you're going to perish. Uh -huh. He showed the urge of repentance. I repeat again in verse 5. I tell you nay, except you repent, you're going to perish. Uh -huh. Then he tells the story of the parable in the same chapter about the Jewish nation, the fig tree, that when he came, there was no fruit on the fig tree. Uh -huh. He talked about repentance there as well. So we find that Jesus showed that repentance is necessary yes. or to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Acts 17, 30, and time of God, we that command that man everywhere now to what? To mm -hmm. repent, right? God is long, so the any man should pray, all men should come what? To repentance. Mm -hmm. Repentance is necessary. What well, repentance is a change of mind, a change of life as well. Mm -hmm. Then we will to confess him as being the son of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is God's son. Romans 10 and 10, confession is made with the mouth. Then be ready to go down in water, baptism. Mm -hmm. That's the last step mm -hmm. to come into Christ. Mm -hmm. And when you get into Christ, mm -hmm. as a child of God, when the wind comes in your life, mm -hmm. and you see the storm, trials, and hard times coming in your life, mm -hmm. keep looking to Jesus. Yes. They are coming. But stay in, the, stay in the boat. Stay on the ship. Stay in the church. Don't leave the church. I showed the church this morning to buy my Bible class. I showed them how that God said, if we, we will be found blameless, holy, blameless, unblameably, unreprovable, in the sight of God, if, if conditionally, if conditionally, okay. if you continue in the faith mm -hmm. 
and be grounded and settled in the truth in the hope of the gospel, mm -hmm. you'll be found holy in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. You'll be found unreproved in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. And unblameable, that means you'll be found perfect in the sight of God because what Jesus did for you oh, on the cross. Right. Amen. 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 In his death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So stay in the church. Yes. Don't leave the church. Because mm -hmm. what Jesus already done for you in his death. He took your sins to the cross. Thank you, God. All you actually do is obey him. Also show them as well that God has already given you salvation. But it's still something you must do. Right. And what you must do as well, hear the gospel. Believe the gospel, repent, confess, be baptized to be saved. You're here. Let's stay focused and continue to look to Jesus. Yeah. We stand singing something with you come. Come from I want to say once again, is any question? Certain thing I taught on on this morning. I want to say, let's stay focused Amen. in the midst of the storms. Let's keep looking to the Lord. Yeah. What are we facing in life? Stay with the Lord as well. I want to say, good to see Brother Webb. I know Amen. he had a little bit of surgery, Amen. but he didn't let keep keeping the church today. He's here. We'll continue to pray for Brother Webb as well. Amen. Also, a faithful brother and his wife as well. And pray for everybody that day who was sick and been to the doctor as well, also as well. Uh, I'll tell you, the brother.